Here's a great question from Optimus. He says, I have a question for Jill. When is Klipsch going to do a subwoofer on the same level as the RF73s, 64.3s, or I may set a level. Okay, uh, so yeah. something, something similar yeah, yeah. to the PB16 or the PB4000. So basically what some of these Klipsch guys are asking for, when are you going to come out with a big bad mama jama that just spanks their butt? Yeah. I know. I was thinking about that earlier too. Is that is that happening? Um, it'll happen. What? Did you just hear that? Clips just announced that they are working on a subwoofer that is supposed to rival that of SVS's massive either PB4000 or PB16. Guys, I don't know about you, but I'm excited. Last night during the Daily Hi-Fi podcast, Jill Eskel, which is the Senior Director of Communications at Clips, made this big announcement that they are working on what I'm gonna call the SVS Killer. Now we don't know if it's going to be that, but that is probably their goal because that is one of their major competitors. Now SVS has been known to make some pretty incredible subwoofers and a lot of Klipsch owners have paired their Klipsch speakers with SVS subwoofers. Now we don't have a lot of details on this new subwoofer, what they're kind of calling internally the beast, but Jill did have some more to say on the subject. Cool, here's a great question from Optimus. He says, I have a question for Jill when Klipsch, um, when clips okay when is clips going to do a subwoofer on the same level as the rf 73s 64 3s or i may set a level okay uh, so yeah. something similar yeah, yeah. to the pb16 or the pb4000 so basically what some of these clips guys are asking for when are you going to come out with a big bad mama jama that just spanks their butt yeah i know i was thinking about that earlier too is that is that happening um, it'll happen. Uh, I don't no. think it'll happen this out. year, but okay. there's one that on on the inside we call it the beast. Okay, but, you got uh, me excited now. I don't think it'll come out this year. Okay, Throw everything at it. But it nice. is. Um, we've seen the prototypes in our office, and they are furniture. They are huge. Okay, we need so to talk later. They also um, nice. that one though is not made in Hope. Okay. So it um, it won't have like a. Um, yeah cabinet that would match the reference rf 7 or 64s but it's but it'll be big it's, it's called powerful. the beast okay the beast. All the beast. i mean that's just what we call it on the inside yeah sure. yeah, yeah yeah a beast I'm i mean it, it would be a cool name if you released it just come out yeah, with it's it's clip for beast. the beast oh my <laughs> you know? i think people get a kick out of that nice. i would too. it'd be fun to talk about oh my goodness well I think we can help you market that one, man. That's exciting. Okay, cool. Now, of course, as soon as I find out some more information on this new subwoofer, I'll be sure to let you guys know, so make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Now, during the podcast, one other topic that came up was one of Klipsch's brand new products, the Fives. So let's take a listen to see what those are all about. So you guys see this one? So this is what I posted, right? Like this is our thumbnail, right? And then this guy, Tim... Brickham says, anxious to hear more about the fives from these tens. <laughs> <laughs> <Funny. Yeah. laughs> All right. So what do you think? I mean, I think that's a pretty good middle ground between a sound bar and a five speaker system. I've been asking for a long time. I'm like, please come out with powered speakers with HDMI arc. Yep. Yep. You know what I mean? I've been wanting that for a long time. And when Joe and I were at CES in January, we we're going <clears> to all these little things like, oh, look, he's like, does it have HDMI arc? Does it have HDMI arc? Some people said yes, and some no, people like, said no. No, when they said no, like, he was no, so <laughs> disappointed. He was, he was like, oh, and like, next time we, put put the HDMI arc in that thing. And are we, we at CES or what? It. What is this? <laughs> yeah, yeah, so we're super excited. The fives, we just announced those last week. Yeah. Uh, or started to announce them. They're on pre-order right now, and they come out within the next few weeks. Um, but yes, high-resolution audio, plug-and-play, HDMI, HDMI arc, so they connect directly to the television. Definitely an upgrade to the sound bar since they've got uh, stereo separation in your dedicated left and right channels. Um, there's a subwoofer output, so you can connect it to that, and we're we're thrilled. They're going to be in so impressive. John, they can are you pull, so impressive. Can you pull that up? Can you pull now that? You had, you had the, the sixes the prior to that, right? Yeah. Yep. 
So the sixes had a six and a half inch driver, I believe. Yes. I think. But, but then, no uh, HDMI arc. Right. No. I mean, so definitely more, definitely more oh, technology in the fives. Yes, more technology. The sixes were a little bit bigger in the cabinet space, so gotcha. more output. But um, the fives are, are going to be hard to beat. I'm super excited about those. Super and excited. I would, I would think I would yeah. think something with a little bit smaller footprint would fit in more people's homes. Yeah. You know, somebody it's that so doesn't good. doesn't want the big speaker. Check this thing out. So it's gorgeous, man. So so here's what I'm excited about. So HDMI Arc makes it so that you can just use your existing remote to change the volume. So a lot mm -hmm. of people. Right. The simpler you can make it, the better, yeah. right? And that's Absolutely. why sound bars, sound bars are so good. Just plug it in and then, you know, just use your TV remote and it works, right? Turns on and off, right, automatically. Um, I saw that it has dynamic EQ, so it changes the sound profile. You know, when you turn the volume down, typically you can't hear the treble and the bass as well as the mid-range, right? And so this will automatically adjust for that. Awesome. So yeah, obviously they're using DSP to allow a lot of that to happen. I think that's awesome. Um, you know, it protects itself because of that DSP. It knows when it's going to hit its excursion limits, right? So it's not going to blow up. Like, oh, all right, that's enough. Um, also, when you connect the sub on this, this is what I always want. So a lot of a lot of powered speakers do have sub out, but they don't allow for a high pass, right? Which means yeah. that the speakers still play full range, which doesn't really help it play louder. Versus with these... You know, you plug in the sub, automatically detects it, and then you know the the speakers can play louder because they're they're not going to try to play the bass. Those lower look at those knobs. Right? Yeah, those I think one ridiculous. thing that's great about the style of this is that you know Clips, of course, is known for heritage. They're known for you know making speakers from way back in the day when when PKW was you know making kind of pioneering this era of of two channel audio, and so you've got that kind of blast from the past as far as the look and the style on that front grill but then you've paired that with the modern um technical side of it you know the people that want to just be able to connect that with their bluetooth and so i just think that that's a pretty cool combination to be able to take kind of blend the that old school you know look with that fresh you know current modern technology look at the, the knobs are awesome on that yeah. thing Metal knobs? Are you kidding me? Yeah. That thing Joe, was awesome. Was awesome. Joe and his knobs. Hey, <laughs> it's all about it's all about having good knobs. So yeah, I'm sure at CES that I probably made you touch those too because they're cool to the touch. But then they also have that little tactile. Mm -hmm. um, knob feel is a thing. Knob like feel is a real thing. <laughs> kind of give a little bit. They tick a little bit. They're so cool. Yeah, the European so folks are feel it as it hits each one. Gotcha. Then you feel. Um, but yeah, I'm excited about those. Um, what else? The, you know, one thing I, I did notice is it also has the ability to switch left and right because a lot of times, you know, there's one main speaker and then another that's kind of like the passive speaker. Right. And so you're able to change the switch on the back, say, okay, I want it to be the left or the right one. So that's, you know, they, there's a lot of thought put into it. The one thing I noticed is it doesn't have a copper cone. Oh, not all speak. Yeah. Not all the, the, sixes, the sixes didn't either. Yeah, so oh, okay. it's not reference. Oh, okay. Uh, so reference is the copper. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Heritage inspired. Yeah. Got it. Got it. All right. Now, did they use a paper cone? Most of the heritage use like a paper cone, or is it like a polymer? Does it show on there, Joe? Um, I'm not controlling it. Chana's got oh, control. Oh, okay. Chana's got it. But uh, it looks like a. I'm assuming some kind of lightweight material. It should be the, a spec sheet, I would think, on that. I think the same tweeter as the the RP line, if I'm not mistaken. See, long throw, four and a half inch woofer, one inch titanium dome tweeter, Tractrix horn. Okay, so it doesn't say what it's made I, of. I want to try okay. those. I want to try yeah. those out. Oh, there you go. Definitely want to try those out. Yeah, because I think all three of us have reviewed um, the SVS Prime Wireless, I believe. I have Tana, you had a pair. Oh, you didn't get one, Joe? Mm -hmm. Okay. So I've heard Prime the wireless. Yes. So definitely be yeah. curious to see how they compare. Yes. Um, I wasn't a fan of those Prime wireless. They're okay. I reviewed. <laughs> I reviewed the uh, the Vanitus. We all reviewed the Vanitus that are mm -hmm. kind of similar, but they don't have HDMI art. I mean, like that's the main thing I kept saying. Gotta have <laughs> HDMI art. So yeah, very very cool. 
Um, yeah, very cool. I'm excited for you guys. Yeah, so we're going to be featuring these in the Hi-Fi Summit and giving some away. Oh, wow. Nice. Hey, wow. Oh, you hear that? That's yeah. Being that you got the chance to win some a pair of those. I mean, we'll nice. give you some of them. I don't know the quantity yet, but cool. more, than, more than a few. <laughs> nice. Thank you. That's awesome. Yeah. So you, so you guys heard oh, it here. So the Hi-Fi Summit. I can head over to HiFiSummit.com. Um, yeah. Make sure to check it out. Lots of lots of giveaways. The fives will be there. I, sh I should enter because you saw what happened in my storage. It caught on fire. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. Yes. So Chad Carlson is saving uh, it again. The fives have a fiber composite whipper. Thanks, Okay. Chad. Nice. Okay. Very cool. Appreciate it. That's an awesome giveaway. Super cool. Yeah, absolutely. Appreciate that. I think, and that's one thing. It's it's like when companies are willing to, you know, they believe in their product so much that they're willing to say, look, you know, we're going to try to, and I'm sure that product is a result of customers feedback, you know, yeah, a lot of kind of what people are asking for. And I think it's, it's key for a company to stay ahead of the game. They've got to be able to listen to their consumers, you know, the people that are buying your products. And so um, I think, you know, the people that love that heritage, but also want some of that modern touch, you know, you've done a great job at blending those two. So yeah, cool. it's something that um, the look of it blends into people's homes. And so mm -hmm. it gets, you know, approval pretty quickly. We hope they're pretty small. They're powerful. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Yeah. That that wife acceptance factor is huge. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It is. I think you're going to sell a ton of those. During the podcast, Jill announced that Clips will be giving away several of these on the Hi-Fi Summit. So if you guys haven't gotten your tickets for the Hi-Fi Summit, be sure to do that because you only got about another week before tickets are increased. And so right now they're only $24. And so save some money, head over to thehifisummit.com to get your tickets today. Have you ever wanted to attend the Hi-Fi trade show but couldn't? Now you can. On June 26th to 30th, the Hi-Fi Summit begins. It's going to be a five-day event available to people worldwide. There you can see your favorite brands and you'll get to see all the new products before anybody else. If you're shopping for products, you can even narrow down your search based on price and other specific criteria. You'll be able to chat live with other audio enthusiasts, ask questions about products and get them answered directly by the companies. You'll be able to vote for best in show. You can even leave testimonials for your favorite brands. Tickets are $49 for all five days, but if you sign up in May, you'll be able to get them at $24 for all five days. Those with tickets will be able to see show specials, exclusive discounts, as well as entering contest giveaways for some ridiculously awesome prizes, like entire systems. And shout out to OSD, one of our gold sponsors. They have their Travoce 12, 800 watt, 12 inch powered subwoofer with passive radiators. They're giving away three of those. The Nero tube base 10 inch powered subwoofer, they have three of those to give away. The Nero Dual X8, they have three of those. Nero Studio 5 bookshelf speakers, they got five of those, five of those. And the Nero Link Wi-Fi stream module, 10 of those. Make sure to check out OSD, OSD Black. These guys are making their way into the home theater market and I think they're doing an awesome job. I'm excited to see what they have to offer. But no trade show is complete without an after party. So we're going to have Techno Dad spinning every single night. So you'll be able to sit back at home, bump it on your system, go to the hi summit.com, buy your ticket, and let your hi fi journey to the top begin. We're going to have lots and lots of giveaways from folks like Clips, SVS, OSD, and lots of other brands. And so make sure you get your tickets today. I'll post links to it down in the description. Now we had a great time last night on the podcast with Jill and Brittany from Klipsch, as well as with Kyle from Life of Bliss. Now if you didn't get a chance to join us last night, you can check the replay right here, or you can check out the Hi-Fi Summit promo. Well guys, I hope you have an incredible week. God bless, and we'll catch you in the next video.